the ocean swallowed Atlantis. And before the recorded history, there was an age when mythical kingdom would spread across an uncharted world. This was the age of Conan. Enslaved as a boy, Conan grew into a warrior. He escaped to encounter mystery, magic, and myth, while forever facing the ultimate master of sorcery. Brother, friend, hero. Sign of the Red Snake. The Agita. Liars, thieves, killers. A pleasant breed. And cannibals. I've heard they're cannibals. A cannibal with half an appetite is more than enough for me. What you're saying reeks of philosophy. He's right, though. You should give the bones a good handling. Take a look at it. And why would I want to take on such a pleasant task? Check it for tooth marks. Conan! Why don't we take a very long, long way around this forest? shared many fights together. Huh? A great deal of grog. <laughs> What's her name? The little gold-haired woman with shaped goddess. My memories are clouded with all the women of your past. <laughs> <laughs> you mean all the wenches trying to escape your grasp? You are drunk and confused, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> to all the wenches, you never caught. <laughs> and all the ones you lie about. <laughs> <laughs> Which are many. <laughs> of all the women that I've loved, <laughs> only Simone. Well, what you're looking for? Well, where's all your baggage? <laughs> I don't carry any baggage. <laughs> well, why then all these uh, baggage carries? <laughs> Are you calling me a baggage carrier? <laughs> it was just a joke, my thick headed friend. Save the fight for the Agita. To your good health. Conan, where are you traveling to? To the Agida and beyond. We are looking for the wizard Hizasu. Well, the wizard of the wizards. By Chrome, when you hunt, you only chase the biggest game. With Hizasu, either we hunt or we are hunted. Ah. 
<laughs> what does the quiet one say? He asks if you not fear to be in our company. From the looks of you four, I say he Sasul soon has to find another world to do his magic in. <laughs> what brings you to this pleasant countryside? Blood? Come tomorrow morning, I will cross a Gita country. Go to war against the Blue Stone Cult. What have they done? To deserve your anger. For the last six months, I lived in the village on the Taiko River. A woman lived there. Kind and beautiful. We found love together. <laughs> One day, I went out hunting. And the Blue Stone came. And they killed all the men, children, old people, young people. They took the women, young, strong ones. And they took mine. And you go to fight them alone? I'm not alone. I'm carrying the hatred of hundreds of my dead friends in my heart. A short time ago, my woman was taken by his assault. I'll get her back, or I'll leave a trail of blood across Blue Stone Country that one will be able to follow for a hundred years. Now, a toast to my friend Conan. And my newfound friends. <laughs> I've been thinking about Savan and came to a decision. We all traveled well together, but I have to be with him. If that means we go around and avoid the Gita and not get killed, I vote we go. I will meet you all in three weeks at the Kina outpost. Who makes this decision for us that we cannot go? Last night you wanted to kill this man. I'm not fond of him, no. He's vain and arrogant, and I do not like vain and arrogant men. <laughs> and he's not the best judge of character, I mean. Do I look like a baggage carrier? If you go to meet trouble, we go with you. So be it. Well, that's all fine, Conan, but in the future, can we meet up with the kind of trouble that comes with finery? Look forward to it. <laughs> He's right. The littlest men do have the biggest dreams. And the best men. Your sword. Nice piece of workmanship. It does the job. Not more than that. It is a blessing from Krom. It is a tool and a friend. With the sword of Atlantis. I'd say it's quite a prize. You know about it? Yes, it's a blade that could certainly make a good warrior. No sword can win for you. Yeah, but a blade can give an edge to men who are equal. No blade can win for you. You're wrong about that. When it comes to the sword, I'm not wrong. About this, you and your wits need some sharpening. My wits and my sword are both sharp. You know what? You're wrong again. Let's just take the fight we had yesterday, for instance. If you wouldn't have had your sword, I don't think you would have been able to hold out my attack any longer. You must have left your memory back at the camp. And your skills with words is clearly as forgettable as your skills with the sword. Maybe I should work my skill into your flesh, my friend. Maybe you should. Before we discuss this any further, we have visitors. We would like all your weapons and jewelry. And anything else you have hidden. And if you have grog, we'll take that too. We're drinking people, you see. And what do we get for all of that? I know what you'll get if you don't hand it all over. <laughs> take what you can.
still on our weapons. Mercy, mercy. Same mercy you have given to us. No, no, no. Crawl well, old shaman. Or you might not live to crawl at all. Do you understand? <laughs> Enough, Saddam. Get off your belly, old man. As great one, we will give you food and drink and treat you like true kings. Well, I, for one, wouldn't mind being treated like a king. Do you know how to treat a man like a king? I do, Grey One. It is not necessary, Savan. You will treat this man like a king. And you will carry him to your village. No one carries me. I walk like any other man. So be it, little man. You just saved his life. Why do you want us to visit in a village of assassins? Because I want to teach them how to obey. And fear us. I think they've learned that. Besides, they might have some information on my woman in the blue stone. Is it fear of them that stops you? Is that what you fear? Another challenge, Savan? It's what I have to do. I don't like this. We go with you. Thanks, Conan. Why do you think they gave up so easily? Ah, the cowards. Or liars. He watched. Ah. just lost someone he loves. He does not seem so heartbroken. <laughs> Look at this one. Honor to be served by so many beautiful women. Hey, I sense you have a good mind. Maybe you could answer a question. You think we're eating the giant I killed or the one Conan killed? <laughs> I propose a toast, and when they drink, the snake will fall to their lips, and... <laughs> Conan, don't you think it's kind of odd, that old toothless warlock slipping into the hut to get us something to drink? I think the old man smiles too easily. They are too willing to bow to us. No many ways we still can kill them. Or they us.
Four mugs of grog. Yes. Five. And one for each of my friends. <laughs> To you, Conan. My friends. <sighs> I'm so hungry. Absolutely. And meat as well. <laughs> I've missed you. You missed me? We never met. Oh, that's not what you said last month. I told you we never met. <laughs> Well, <laughs> maybe I was mistaken. You are mistaken, pretty one. But I wish it was me. <laughs> <laughs> to the old days. To the old days, Con. Watch out for snakes. <laughs> <laughs> Savan has worked his will upon Conan, sire. You are certain? Yes. Summon the High Priestess. Our guests are due to arrive as scheduled. I am prepared for them as you wish. I never have before. I am hopeful that all this will fall in your favor. You hopeful? I've never heard you use a word like that before. I use the word only in a metaphoric sense, Master. Since I am, of course, beyond hope. There is something in your manner I'm not sure. I like. Since I am without a body, so I must be without a manner. It's too bad that you could not have avoided death as well as you avoided certain my question. I am certain of one thing. Savan will lead Conan into the trap you have set. First the sword, then the man. Come tomorrow. your death was. Do you understand? Yes. Now go. Is there trouble? Where's Savan? That may be the trouble. Savan snuck out. Seven followed him. Across the road, he spoke with two men. Blue Stone Cold. That's not all. Remember the bar girl? She said to Savan she'd been glad to see him, that he'd been there last month, and they'd been friendly. 
does it have to do with us? He seemed to be nervous about this. I remember on the first day, he told us that he was at the Taco River for the last six months. It seems you have made up your mind. Speak up. We don't know. But why is he having secret meetings with the men we're going to go fight? I will ask him. You don't need to ask. I will tell you everything. And now, I'm defenseless. I was approached tonight by two men from the Bluestone Cult. These two have deserted their brotherhood and are now hunted. Word has arrived in the brotherhood that I was coming. And these two were willing and able to sell me some information on my woman for gold. Why didn't you tell us this before? Do I know if it's a trap? So I went alone and paid them and told them if they fail me, I will kill them. Is that true? He was too far to hear. What about the servant girl? She's a fool and mistaken. Why don't you get her up here and ask her yourself? So am I. I'm a fool and I'm mistaken for thinking that I have friends. What do you think of me? What? No answer? What kind of man are you? You can talk behind my back, but what about into my face? We don't trust you. That's an answer. Not a good one, but at least it's an answer. It's an honest one. Honest? Have I ever done anything to you? To any of you? Yet you don't think I'm honest. What about you, my friend Conan? Do you think I'm dishonest in some way? Do you think I have some evil plan set against you? Whatever you say will be the truth for me. I shouldn't have to say anything. I journeyed with you. I fought with you. I bled with you. Was I ever dishonest then? Was there ever anything evil in my heart? No. Never. That's an honest answer. I'm going to go alone. My woman is in prison about a day's ride from here in some castle. Remember, Conan, I didn't ask you to come with me. Saba. You heard it. What do you have to say now? I think you know how we feel. Even after what he has said? Even after what he has said. My Sumerian blood says to help my friend. I too will help any man who is my friend. But is this man our friend? He has not proved otherwise. Let's hope he doesn't prove it too late for us. Back at the Agita, at the celebration with your young women, he did not seem like a man who was brokenhearted. Each man grieves his own way. Conan! What if Savan and the Blue Stone have formed an alliance? Made plans to kill you? What if they're with Hisazul? That may be. But I have to go help him and find out the truth. Where are you going? should have been born a coward. Come here to put me to the sword or to offer me your sword. Forget the swords. We're here to help you. Then come over the bridge with me.
Mayo, Audley, Seven, you go first, then I go. I'm gonna go first. I wanna prove myself. Next. Me? I'm next? Slowly. I'll go slow, I'll go slow. What are you wearing? No more mutton for you, by you. Take your sword. Come on. Throw it to me. Never! <laughs> ah! No! Don't do it! Throw your sword! Or your friend will die. Come on!
catching mice. It's not finished yet. That's right, my thick-headed friend. You're just the bait. Conan will come for you to save your life, and I will send his head back to Isazul. And I and the High Priestess will be very well rewarded. Before you send his head to anyone, you're gonna have to deal with the rest of them first. Cage them! I don't want to hear their voices again! <laughs> My priestess. Mm. chances Conan have against all of them. He doesn't even have his weapon. We've got to figure out a way to help him. We have to find a way to help ourselves. Well, I'm right. The only thing we can do for him from here is scream! Talking too fast. Yes, how the blue faces cow to her. Yes, if we could get a hold of her, then those warriors might not be so willing to fight if we had a knife up to the saintly high priestess's throat. <laughs> yeah. Well, now that we have that settled. There's only one thing left for us to figure out. Our original problem. How do we get out of here? Ah! Afraid of a little snake? It is not little to me. Look out that window. If we don't get out of here, we're dead anyway. And you're afraid of a snake bite. I'm really starting to not like you. You're not so brave now, are you? Where's the gold, little man? It's inside a pouch, inside of his shirt. Shh. Let's see it. I'm gonna kill you for this, I swear it! Kill me now! There it is. still inside the pouch. If there is not gold here, you will be breathing through a nice new slash across your throat. A snake!
guards that need it. Yeah, yeah, all right. See you didn't waste any time getting to your own funeral. It's not my funeral I've come for. I wonder whose, then. I don't suppose you believe you've come for mine. Come down like a great warrior and find out. A great warrior, my friend, is a smart one. Not the sword. Now I'll prove it. sword has not served you well, has it, Savan? Do you think the Bluestone people will remain under control? I cannot be sure. Why do we leave them intact? Do you want me to slay them all? It'd be safer. I will destroy only his Azul. I am a messenger of Trump, not an assassin. Hmm, but you kill. I kill to defend myself. By you, you do not treat people fairly. What would you like me to do, become a midwife? Maybe. If I didn't have to listen to your shrieking little voice, I too would be happy. Well, if my silence would stop your misery from spreading, I will behave like Zebin. You cannot stop those jaws from flapping any more than a bird could stop its wings. I have seen birds glide for many minutes. Which is longer than you could suppress your babble. Your mouth should be in proportion to your body. And if your body were in proportion to your brain, you could ride a swamp rat. Then how could I stop people from stomping you into an ugly rug? As usual, you are wrong. <laughs> 
<laughs> I would make a beautiful rug. <laughs> you protect him with your laughter. He's like an annoying rodent. But he gets us through moments of silence. You, Zevin, say more with your silence than all of us. I value it and appreciate it greatly. Which means you should shut up. Okay, I will. I will behave like Zevin. <laughs> Zevin welcomes you to the fraternity of the silent. <coughs> I didn't mean it. I'll talk, I'll talk. You should have at least kissed him back. <laughs> Don't help him. You're supposed to be on my side. <laughs>